Today, I am going to be talking about This is Happiness by Niall Williams. It was published in December 2019 and is available as an audiobook on Hoopla. This adult novel explores small town life, coming of age, friendship, love, and happiness. The story is told by No, a man in his 70s reflecting on a time in his life. At 17, Noah has quit training to become a priest and has returned to Faha, a village in rural Ireland. It's spring 1958 and electricity is finally coming to Faha. Along with the workforce that comes to install the electricity arrives Christy, who comes to the village not just to sign the villagers up for the electricity, but also to seek forgiveness from a woman he loved and left decades earlier. Christy and Noah become companions in each other's search for music, love, and meaning. This book is character driven with a leisurely paced storyline. The characters are colorful and complex, and there's a very strong sense of place. Niall Williams' writing style is lyrical. I found myself reading sentences two or three times and pausing just to savor the words. So it did take me quite a while to get through this book, but it was absolutely wonderful and worthwhile. The descriptions of the weather, the characters, the feelings, they're poetic and beautiful. Ron Charles of the Washington Post writes, the Ireland that Niall Williams writes about in his novel is gone, or it would be if he hadn't cradled it so tenderly in the clover of his prose. Escaping into the pages of This Is Happiness feels as much like time travel as enlightenment. You might like This Is Happiness if you like Elizabeth Strout or Nino Ricci, who both have lyrical writing styles and depict complex and introspective characters, often in small towns. So, if you're looking for something tender and funny and moving and exquisitely written, I would highly recommend This Is Happiness by Niall Williams. I'll finish this book talk with a quote from the book. This is Williams describing Faha. Where, when darkness fell, it fell absolutely. And when you went outside, the wind sometimes drew apart the clouds and you stood in the revelation of so many stars, you could not credit the wonder and felt smaller in body as your soul felt enormous.